Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Megablocks review by the SS Motion. So today I'll be reviewing the UNSC Wombat Recon Drone, which is item number 97451, is 89 pieces, currently retails at £10 and is one of the brand new new articulation lines of Fall 2014. So we'll start with this figure. Now. If you know anything about the SS Motion, you'll know that I am pretty much derangedly obsessed with ODSTs. They are my favourite bit of the entire Halo lore. They are incredible, and I love them to pieces. I've completed Halo 3 ODST on Legendary a million times over, and I have so many ODST figures in so many different places in this room, and they are by far my favourite. So this was a big deal. When I heard uh, originally, once the Toy Fair had been over, that they were redesigning the ODST, um, I was pretty nervous because they have to do it right with me. They have to do the ODST justice because it's a big deal. And let me just say, they did a lot more than do it justice. <laughs> they did an exceptional job. Absolutely outstanding. This is the brand new ODST. And not only is it the brand new ODST, this is actually called the Rookie. Now, if you didn't know, the Rookie is the main protagonist in Halo 3 ODST. And to see Halo 3 ODST sets as you know is just a dream for me i've already done the nmpd cruiser review and i absolutely just i was a big nerd on it and just said how much i loved it not a negative word against it so again this is going to be a similar review i absolutely love this figure now the main difference they have made is they have finally done it they have made the odst game accurate and by that i mean in the old odst it has a stub it has this weird stub, and nobody knows where it came from. Megablox just designed it, decided to add it on, thought it might make it look a bit cooler, maybe look, make the head look a bit bigger. They removed the stub. Now, I'm trying to get used to this, because I have, you know, ODSTs have been the main part of my Halo Megablox collection, and suddenly they've redesigned the stub, and I was used to the stub. So I'm getting used to this. I know it is better. A lot of people have said it's better. But let me know in the comments what you think about it. But honestly, I love it. I think it's amazing. Now... All of the armor is detachable. The armor is very detailed. The molding and the sculpting work is genius on these. If you can see, I can remove all the pieces like this. And we can see that the tack belt comes off here. No real design on there. Like there were bullets on a meal and stuff, but there was nothing really on this one. The leg comes off. And this piece inserts off here, which is really nice. I've always commented, there's nice moulding detail underneath instead of just plain, which is always really nice. The, the figure goes together really nicely. It's not fiddly. It's not, you know, it won't break. It doesn't feel brittle. It just goes together, comes apart really nicely. And also, the chest comes off. It's a little bit fiddly to get the chest off. It will take me a second, but it does come off quite easily. I'm a bit worried about breaking it, but I don't think it will break. And there you can see the chest looks absolutely lovely and the nice molding detail underneath so this figure just goes together like a charm it is made perfectly mega blocks have been flawless in their new articulation designs if you didn't know the new articulation has uh, ball joints here so it means it can swivel around make loads of different new positions hold guns game accurately all just better in every way and mega blocks have been flawless with this a black undercoat with some nice uh, sort of browny green colouring, it's got some nice cream colouring all the way down, a blue visor and nice skinned colour on the hands which I'm happy with because sometimes they just leave their hands black but usually just in mystery packs. So very happy with that and it just looks like an exceptional figure. I'm glad they actually added the glove design uh, in the new, well in the last year's 20 figure combat unit which was one of the last times we saw an ODST, the hands were just uh, skin coloured so I'm glad they've got the gloves and this just does the rookie justice looks like an amazing figure now we'll get on to this guy this thing is pretty much only for the die-hard halo fans because the U the the wombat recon drone is seen like twice in the whole odst campaign and there's not even importance over it basically this is just reconnaissance it's sort of like a uav kind of thing just scans the area and you see them flying overhead in one of the dutch missions but that's about it it's like it's really rare and i'm very surprised they, they they've actually made a set over it but it does it justice, it looks very game accurate, and puts together really nicely. Has some nice detailing, like this translucent red piece underneath here, and the printed work here is excellent. I don't like stickers on my products, so the printing looks excellent, and it just has a really nice diff uh, mix between steel and uh, silver colouring on the actual thing. 
There's not much to say about this because people won't know what it is. I can't compare it to a previous vehicle or anything. It's obviously far too small to fit the ODST inside, but that's not what it's made for anyway. It has some really nice engines here. It just really nice shape, really looks amazing, and I can't wait to try and use this in some stop motions I've got planned soon. The wings, as I have just excellently demonstrated, snap off pretty easily uh, if you put any pressure on them because if for some reason it's only attached together by two pins instead of all four, but it doesn't really matter. It goes together nice and it stays there. And just to keep it together nicely, it's got a translucent block by a single block by a single flat block. So you can attach that translucent block in and then the single flat block sticks on the floor. So an excellent vehicle, very well designed and looks really cool. Now what they've actually added in, which I'm very happy about, is a controller. So this is basically what the Rookie uses to control the actual recon drone, so to tell, it, tell where it's going and everything. And it looks really nice. It's only made out of two very simple pieces. A little uh, piece on the bottom here and a translucent blue piece with this lovely printed detail here. I love these printed details that they're doing. It looks much better than stickers, so I'm very happy with it. And not only that, we get a nice suppressed SMG, which is a direct callback to the games. I have loads of them, but I just love getting one of these because what other vehicle, what other weapon would they have? Like, they only use so common this, so really nice to see some ODST style uh, callbacks. And the weapons and recon point controller work really well. So guys, out, in my personal opinion, this has been the best year for Mega Bloks so far. They have re released these sets that are tailored to my favourite game, Halo 3 ODST. They have made the uh, NMPD Cruiser, Hornet and uh, Cyclops and they look amazing. They just look so amazing. I'm working on a stop motion now. It's going to take me about half a year. I want to get it right and um, it's going to include loads of ODSTs and new Mombasa stuff. So I am so happy with this set and... Um, it's just so nice that they've called back to the ODST rookie. I hope Megablox listens, and I really hope they make some more ODST sets next year. It will be amazing to get a combat unit with Book, Romeo, Dutch, or Daring, all of them. It will be amazing. So please listen to that, Megablox, and make it happen. So this has been another Halo Megablox review with the SS Motion. This is an incredible set, a great callback to Halo 3 ODST, and I can't wait to see more of them. Check out my Mongoose with a Meal review two days ago, and the day before that, my uh, in-depth analysis of all the different Mongooses Mega have ever made. It's well worth a watch, and I had a lot of fun making it. And there's also loads of videos coming up at the minute about Scott Warmaster's customs, including his exploding ghost, his Halo helmet, and uh, his Halo 3 ODST new Mombasa diorama. So check back, there's loads of videos going up this week. I'm taking some really amazing pictures while I'm in Iceland uh, for a couple more days, and uh, it's all really awesome here. So yeah, stay tuned for more, and we'll see you next video.